Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today, guys, we are in the hobby room and behind me is a big box. At this time, I have no idea what's in it. It was sent to me straight from Horizon Hobby. But what I want to do is I am super excited to see what's in there. All I know is it says Arma. It says 6S BLX. It also says 1.7 scale. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, there it is, the Arma 6S BLX Fireteam. This thing looks wicked. I have been dragging this truck around my house. I've already had it out, guys, now for a couple of rips, and this thing is not disappointing. I want to let you guys know first what this truck is. Arma calls it a new definition. It calls it a new, even though it's not a new platform, guys, everything underneath that cage you've somewhat seen before, but what they're doing is they created a vehicle that is fun everywhere. So whether you are taking it off-road, whether you're jumping it, whether you're running it in the snow, you're in a parking lot, you're running it on asphalt, you're running it on grass, they've added a lot to this truck to make all those conditions, so all those different running styles, a lot of fun. We're going to get into that. We're going to be covering everything in this video. But first, what I want to do is just cover some of the boring stuff, kind of cover what came in the box, and then we'll get into out the truck. to show you. I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. So you got your sticker sheet. You've got a bunch of different pistons for tuning your shocks. You've got a 15 tooth pinion. I think stock was 12. So if you want to get a little bit more top speed out of it, you can drop this pinion in. Diff shims. Again, if you want to tighten things up a little bit, these now come included. Like they have actually, guys, they've been coming included with a couple of the last armors. I know my both my EXBs came with them. You got a little set of tools. You got a manual. A couple of other little things. Most of this manual, guys, I went through it. A lot of it just kind of covers the maintenance, maintenance of the diffs, all that kind of fun stuff. How to turn it on and off. Make sure you know you unplug your battery when you you know you're not running the truck. All that kind of stuff. The one thing I always kind of like, and I always go into these for, it's just basically for all the ESC tuning stuff. If you want to know where your punch is, what your BEC is at, what your brake strength is, all that kind of stuff. This is always important because I do find that a lot of companies. You know, they kind of change, I guess, a bit of the firmware around. So, you know, even if it's an ESC is, let's say, a Max 10 or a Max 8, they may differ under a different company's name type thing if it's a rebranded unit. So always kind of go into the manual, guys, and check this thing over. This I use these all the time. On now, guys, to the radio. This is an SLT3, which means it's the Secure Link Technology Radio. It's, it's a basic, basic radio, guys. You got your power. You got your reverse switches. You do have your throttle limited. So if you're going to give this like to your kid or something like that, you can dial it down to 50 or 100. Um, throttle control, all that kind of stuff. But what I haven't even guys touched on yet is this is your third channel switch. And that truck over there has a third channel. We're going to get to that. Uh, one thing, guys, I should mention, though, is that even though this does come with the SLT3 transmitter, it does come with an SR315 receiver, which means it is DSM capable or DSMR capable, which means if you've got a DX6R, DX5, rugged, whatever, you'll be able to bind this up to that receiver and obviously use your good radio. But anyways, guys, I told you I was going to quickly go over that. And that's all I'm doing, which means that we get to move on to the truck. 
And as impressive, guys, as this cage is, as cool as it looks, for me, the real excitement, guys, of this truck is underneath that body. To remove the cage, you've got two body clips in the back. These are more standard size body pins. And then in the front, you've got a rather large one. Pull those and the cage simply just lifts off. And at first glance, everything looks familiar. You've got a Spectrum Firmo 150 amp ESC. You've got the Spectrum 2050 kV motor. You've got an S652 servo. It comes with 265 ounces of torque, metal gear, waterproof, good to go. Metal servo horn. I've already mentioned that you've got the SR315 receiver, but what I'm covering back here, guys, is what makes this truck definitely unique. It comes with a rear handbrake. I think it's really, really cool that Arma added this handbrake. If you're familiar with the infraction, it had the unit right up here, right behind the center diff, where on the fire team, it's right before the rear diff. I think this ties into that versatile platform that they're going with, with the fire team. Being able to, you know, rip this truck around, you, let's say you take it to a parking lot, you're ripping it around on asphalt, you know, with a quick blip of the button, you can lock up the rear end, you can slide it around. I've already, guys, like I mentioned, driven the truck. I was ripping it around on snow and ice, and it was a lot of fun. Just to tap that button, kind of, you know, you send that rear end out a little bit, let it off, boom, you got your tires engaged again, and you're off ripping. I think that's very, very cool. But what I want to do now is I'm going to show you guys exactly how it works. So again, you've got the servo back here, you've got a disc. It's going to lock up right here, so right before the rear diff. But obviously, if you're just rolling along and you hit the, the mechanical brake, it will, in a sense, guys, lock up the whole truck because of the fact that you've everything is connected, the center diff, everything will connect. The difference is going to be is that if you were to apply throttle, your front tires would start turning, but you would be locking up the rear. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to power up the truck. And I'm going to show you guys how it works. So we're going to give it some throttle. So you can see when I apply throttle and I hit the brake, it'll stop all four tires. But if I start applying throttle, you can see that the front tires will start turning and they'll stay turning but the rear itself will lock up. So that'll be a lot of fun because if you're ripping around and you know, you're kind of not necessarily drifting, but you go to do a corner, you go to, you want like a really sharp turn type thing, you know, besides from just blipping the throttle and trying to shove the truck, now you're going to be able to just boop, lock those rear tires and it's just slide right around. That guys is very, very cool. Moving on guys, let's talk about the tires. They have somewhat of a similar tread pattern. They kind of remind me of guitars a little bit. They're not belted or anything like that. And again, they're not identical to guitars, but they have a similar kind of look to them. But the unique thing, guys, is on the side right here. They call these military-inspired airless wheels and tires. And what I think they're going for is, I don't know if you've ever seen those wheels and tires online. I've seen pictures. I've seen videos of them come up where it's kind of not hollow, but they've got like sort of like ribs and stuff like that. And you see the tire kind of going over rocks and you see the tire kind of compressing, but it's an airless design. I'm pretty sure that's what they're going for, this kind of look right here. It's definitely cool, guys. I like the tire. Again, when I was running it, they did work well. But there's one thing, guys, that's super, super cool about this. I am surprised that I have not talked about this in this video at all. So you have the 1.7 scale chassis, guys. You have something that's very, very similar to a Mojave chassis. It may even be identical. But unlike the Mojave that has the skinnier arms to fit under the short course truck body, the fire team comes with the Creighton V5, the Creighton EXB arms. So you now have the width. So you have a truck that's going to be and is so much more planted. But it also allows you to put so many different sets of wheels and tires on this truck. Because you have those wide arms, you don't have to worry about trimming a body. You don't have to worry about rubbing or adding hex extenders. None of that. And I don't want to spoil it, guys, but I've already thrown on a MX-38 Badlands just to see how it would fit and it doesn't rub. It's nowhere near hitting the body. So you are really going to be able to change up this truck, dial it in the way you want it. I can say this, guys. I wish yesterday I had had a set of paddles on this thing because it definitely would have made for a lot more fun. I definitely would have got a lot more traction. But you're going to be able to throw trencers. You're going to be able to throw Badlands. You're going to be able to throw the other Creighton uh, tires on, Outcast wheels and tires. So many different sets of wheels and tires, guys. It's going to be crazy. 
and have tons and tons of room. I'm surprised, guys, I haven't said anything till up till now. I'm surprised that was one of the first things I talked about in the video was the fact that it does come on these arms. Because to me, having the 1.7 scale with the armor crate and arms is huge. All right, so a few last things that I haven't mentioned is it does come with front and rear 5mm shock towers. It's got front and rear sway bars. You've got your tower to tower brace. You've got your chassis braces down here. You've got your EXB top plate right here. You've got very unique rear and front bumpers. Obviously completely different from the Crate and EXB bumpers, but they definitely work guys with the, I keep calling it a side-by-side. -side. I don't even know if that's what it is. It's definitely a side-by-side -side buggy, something like that type body, but they definitely work. But what I want to do right now, because I know a lot of you really want to see the size of this truck, especially compared to something like a 6S Creighton is, I'm going to do two things. One, I am going to put them beside each other on the floor so that you can see the difference in the size. But another thing, guys, I want to show you is I've got these two braces. So what we've got here is this one is off my 6S Creighton EXB. So if I was to line that up right there, come back. You can tell that the fire team brace is probably about a good inch and a quarter longer. This brace right here is off of a felony. And you can see that the fire team brace is about a half inch longer. So yeah, this truck guys is definitely longer, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the Creighton and the fire team on the floor so that you guys can see the size difference. All right, with the trucks on the floor, you can see the difference in the wheel bases. The Creighton comes in at 377 millimeters, where the fire team comes in at 422 millimeters, which kind of surprised me because the Mojave, I looked it up online, is 420 millimeters. So the fire team is actually has a two millimeter longer wheelbase, which again, guys, surprised me. I expected them to be the same. All right, since I already had the crane out, I thought I would give you guys a different view of the two trucks. And the one thing I noticed as soon as I got these up kind of side by side is that the fire team is running the Mojave steering blocks and rear hubs. So you can see that the Creighton is just a little bit wider. So what kind of makes that sort of cool, guys, is that if you wanted to, you could swap these over to the Creighton hubs and make the truck even wider. Something I have not mentioned yet, and you guys can see it right there, is that the fire team comes with the aluminum cup on the center diff. So that's kind of cool. That usually was an optional part. It's not on my crate and it's not on my Outcast EXP either. So it's kind of cool that Arm is now doing that. All right. Every time I think I'm done with the video, every time I think I've covered everything on this truck, I'll stand back and be like, oh, geez, you know what? I forgot to mention that. So one thing they've done that really should add a ton of durability, guys, to this truck and to the body and to the cage is just like the Mojave, you have this little kind of notch right here. Obviously, that's where that goes. But what you might not have seen yet is this right here. You've got this little channel right there. That sits, guys, right in the shock tower. And it also has, guys, one on the front. you got this big foam kind of bumper, but you've got one right there. That also, guys, sits right here in the shock tower. So you, when you're taking a hit, if you're coming down hard on that body, you're actually going to impact, obviously, the cage. But then you're impacting on the front shock tower, center mount, and the rear shock tower. That guy should make this thing a tank. This thing should really, really hold up because obviously guys, there's tons and tons of bracing in the cage. I am, this thing really guys should hold up really, really well. All right, well, there it is, the Arma Fire Team. I'm finishing guys off the video with the wheels and tires off, the body off, because I feel like this is what you really want to see. Arma gave us what we've been asking for for a long time. We have been lengthening Creighton successes. We have been widening Mojave's. And that is exactly what Arma gave us here. But they didn't just lengthen it and they didn't just widen it. They gave us the rear handbrake. They gave us new bumpers. They gave us that sweet cage and body panels. They really added to what was going to be awesome already. They just decided, hey, you know what? Let's give them even more and let's make this thing even cooler. Huge thanks to Arma and Horizon Hobby for hooking me up with this truck and allowing me to review it before it even gets out. You know, getting a truck from a company is always awesome. Getting something like this is even cooler because, again, there's so much going on, guys, with this truck. It's definitely, um, you know, it, it was actually, guys, a hard truck to review because there was so much going on that every time I thought, 
you know, I'd kind of covered everything. There'd be something else that would pop up. Even right now, as I look at the truck, I see these things right here, guys, these little kind of pylon looking things. This, these actually, the cage sits on those as well. So you have these four mounts here. And like I said, you've got the shock tires and this brace as well. So again, just really allowing that cage to stay supported is, hey, awesome. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. There isn't any running in this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe. And yes, there are a lot of picks.